Hello everyone. Today I'm excited to present our latest research titled Soft Curriculum for Learning Conditional Gains with Noisy Labeled and Uncreated Unlabeled Data. My name is Kai Katsumoto. I'm a PhD student at the University of Tokyo. This work is a collaborative effort between researchers from the University of Tokyo and Rikens, including my esteemed colleagues Takumi Bo, Tatsuya Harada, and uh, Hideki Nakayama. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my colleagues and collaborators for their invaluable contribution to this research. Let's begin by exploring the fascinating world of conditional gains and why our approach is pivotal for the truly future of image generation. Before we delve deeper into the specific of our research, let's take a moment of to overview the key highlights. In this study, we focus on the data efficiency aspect of conditional image generation. To reduce labor effort for building datasets for training students, we introduce a novel data assumption. It consists of noisy label data and uh, uncurated unlabeled data. Then we design a novel soft curriculum learning. The soft curriculum selects useful training samples without a threshold using a weighting mechanism. Our comprehensive experiments show the performance gains of uh, the proposed method and uh, some desirable properties. For example, the soft curriculum is robust to label noise and it is good at challenging benchmark dataset with limited labeled data. Supervised image generation, which is referred to as conditional image generation, aims to learn the mapping from condition to image. Ordinarily, we train a generator on images with labels. After training, the generator produces images according to class condition, and the Im generated images are expected to be indistinguishable from real images. Some approaches have been investigated, facilitates building dataset for conditional image generation. One direction is the semi supervised approach. The semi supervised version assumes the datasets that are composed over of labeled and unlabeled data. Classifier based approaches for the semi supervised conditional image generation frameworks aims to uh, assign temporal labels to uh, unlabeled data and to make a fully labeled dataset to train conditional GANs. OSS GAN quantifies the uh, importance of instances to detect useful and harmful samples by utilizing entropies. Here, the example of harmful samples is open-set samples in unlabeled data. Another research direction for data-efficient conditional image generation is noise-robust image generation. The approaches allow us to utilize roughly labeled dataset. Alshigan simulates the noisy label distribution of the given dataset by using the label transition function. However, these aforementioned approaches have some limitations. Semi supervised approaches require clean label data. Training on noisy labels instances makes a classifier that assigns bad labels to unlabeled data. Noise robust sequence only assumes in distribution noise label noises and does not support partially labeled dataset. To overcome these limitations, we introduce an over training framework. It consists of five kinds of data. Labeled data with clean labels, labeled data with closed set label noise, labeled data with open set label noise, closed set unlabeled data, and open set unlabeled data. When the case of two class image generation, dog and cat, open set label noise samples contain uh, cat and dog, and their labels are long. Open set label noise samples contain contents outside the known categories, and their labels are one of known categories. Closed set and labeled samples are inside the known classes, and open set and labeled samples are outside the known classes. In conditional image synthesis, training models on noisy labeled data and uh, partially labeled data have been explored individually. This is the comparison of previous and our data setting. Semi supervised image generation uses only clean labeled data. Semi supervised image generation allows unlabeled data, and noise robust image generation allows noisy labeled data. These approaches for training conditional GANs consider either noisy labeled data or unlabeled data. By combining these directions, our framework considers both noisy labeled data and unlabeled data. The challenge of this framework is how to estimate appropriate labels of noisy labeled and unlabeled data and uh, noisy labels. So far, we have seen incombinant properties of 
existing image generation functions and novel framework we have addressed. Let's move on to our approaches that solves our com the complex task. To assign labels that reflect the contents of the samples and eliminate the effects of harmful samples, we present soft curriculum mechanism. Existing curriculum learning approaches for semi-supervised learning pick up and label samples whose predicted confidence is higher than the thresholds and use them as a label data. Thus, uh, it completely ignores low confidence samples and enhances the effects of long predictions and uh, le noisy labels. Our soft curriculum is a more robust method. It avoids uh, the use of thresholds and maintains a number of training samples. Instead of picking uh, high confidence samples, our method scales the loss of its instance based on confidence. We integrate soft curriculum into the conditional gain training framework. Then our final method consists of four components. Our first, we train a classifier with robust classification loss. The loss is generalized cross entropy loss, which is generalization of mean absolute error and categorical cross entropy. We train the robust classifier on real label data and fake samples generated by generator. We use our fake samples to increase the number of training samples. Next. We assign the labels to unlabeled data. We use the softmax output of the classifier as a new labels. Then we collect the long labels and label samples by taking the average of predicted and given labels. We take simple averages to reduce the effect of misprediction. Finally, we assign instance-wide weight for all the other samples to pay more attention to useful samples and to pay less attention to useless samples. We use the uh, inverse of the normalized entropy of the classifier outcome as weight. The method assigns large weight to useful samples. For example, labeled samples with screen labels, labeled samples with corrected labels, and labeled samples properly labeled by classifier. And it assigns small weight to harmful samples, for example, samples with open set label noise and open set unlabeled samples and samples with misclassification. Here is uh, experimental results on ImageNet. We compare the five baseline methods and the proposal method. Our method outperforms baselines in terms of several quantitative metrics, including class-wise metrics. Generated examples uh, also show that our method wins the uh, baseline method. This is uh, results on experiments with different number of labeled samples. The baseline methods cause a large performance gap between the case of small and large labeled dataset. Unlike the baselines, our method achieves consistent performance even in difficult dataset. In particular, our method achieves competitive performance over the baseline method with three times fewer labeled data. In my presentation, I talk about novel training framework for conditional image generation, which utilizes noisy labeled and uncurated unlabeled data. And our proposed soft curriculum, the soft curriculum approach controls the effects of samples depending on their usefulness. Our experiments verify the effectiveness of the proposal method and its interesting future. As we conclude this presentation, I'd like to extend my sincere gratitude to all of you and your attention and engagement. It has been a privilege to share our research on soft curriculum for learning conditional guns with noisy label data and curated unlabeled data with such an esteemed audience. I would also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the invaluable contributions of my coursers. This research represents a collaborative effort and its success is a testament to dedication and expertise of our entire team. As we step into the future, we are excited about the potential application and development that our research could inspire. We believe that the advancement in conditional image synthesis will open new horizons in the field of image generation. Thank you once again for your time and attention. Please drop by our poster in poster session 2 or reach out to us anytime.